What's up? What's up, everybody? Today we're here on the Europe server doing some BJR5. However, as you may have noticed, two of the players are actually the same player. So, uh, number one is we're doing two-man BJR5. Number two is that must mean we're doing something else aside from BJR5 because you can't have two BJs from the same... Uh, can't have two BJs of the same, from the same person. Um, so something has to be something else. So what uh, what this is, is basically, this is, by the way, all credit to Gingri. He is the one that created this, that concocted this. I had nothing to do with it. I'm just showing the team. Um, it's a little bit on the slow side. We can't quite one-shot it like he is doing uh, because my Bailiger does not do uh, does not do as much damage as the person he usually uh, raids with. So. Just FYI disclaimer that my Bailiger on here is only hitting like 30, 30, 34 uh, thousand. Not anything too crazy. This is the Europe server account. But uh, the, if you have an overkill Bailiger, it's super reliable, super solid. If your Bailiger is just like barely on the line of BJR5, uh, it's not quite going to be as reliable as you want it to be. But basically, the team is using Odin as a, in place of a second Bailiger, right? So you, it's the same basic concept, right? You have the stacks from the Colleen, you have the stacks from the um, Emesity, you have the stacks from the Fire Giant Warrior uh, dying. So everything is fully stacked there. We do some extra damage with the uh, Odin, and then you have the overkill from... Again, like, you want, like, an overkill Bailiger for this, because, um, because... For example, my Bailiger is not quite doing the DPS that we need to reliably do this. So let's take a look at his, um, let, let, let me pause it, let's take a look at his uh, runes real quick to see how he actually has things ruined. First, let's take a look at my Bailiger. So you need a stronger Bailiger than this. He's got 1927, he's got 234. He needs to be a little bit stronger than this, right? Because he's got to be actually doing overkill damage, more than a normal Bailiger for BJR5. Uh, would need to do so first. I want to just disclaim that again um, But the runs are reliable if you have like an overkill Bailiger, which just means he needs more stats than usual But some people have that right a, a decent amount of people have like a, a stronger Bailiger than they would need So let's take a look at the uh, stats for the Emesity. He's just on triple fight runes uh, Defense defense defense. He's just tanky enough to survive the front line uh, we have the Vidur, which is basically the same reason that you'd want him. The same thing for BJR5. You just want him to have will runes, and you also want him to have fight to squeeze out that extra damage. Um, he's just basically there to die. She is there for leader skills. She's on full fight runes. Doesn't matter if she dies and comes back. She's not gonna come back, but she's just there to die and have full fight runes and a leader skill. Uh, this is there for the attack power buff. Uh, there are the stats on there. She's just like a little bit tanky. Uh, the stats on this, I think this was just, I think some of these things were just from the, um, the original, uh, what is it, the, the original BJ5 or KB5 or something like that. Uh, so here's just some extra, extra damage output, um, and then here is the most important, the stacks, uh, the, sorry, the stats, the stats on the Odin. So he's got attack, he's got attack there, he's got extra crit damage with skill 1, which is important. To do a little bit more damage. Basically, you're kind of carrying the Odin with the other two B, uh, the other two uh, BJ teams, the other two uh, Bailiger teams. But uh, he's still there doing a little bit of damage. Let's try it again. Let's see. Uh, let's see how we do. But I just want to show you guys the stats on it. I thought it was a cool team, uh, and I thought it'd be nice to show you guys. So uh, I'll also include a run at the end of, uh, or I'll, clu I'll cl include actually a couple runs, and I'll direct you to his YouTube channel if you want to see the runs that he was doing. Uh, with someone else that has a stronger Bailiger, but again, if you have the overkill, if you have the stronger Bailiger, that's like overkill for normal BJR5, you should actually be able to reliably run this team. He said he's done it with a thousand crystals uh, worth of farming, and he there's no fail. Sometimes, uh, I think he said sometimes Colleen uh, makes mistakes, and it, the run takes a little bit longer, but aside from that, I mean, things happen in uh, BJR5 too. So aside from that, it's been uh, pretty reliable from what he says. So as you can see, BJR5 using Odin instead of Colleen. Let me, uh, I'll peace out right now and I'll just include some clips from his channel. My apologies, I was trying to talk real fast because he's in Europe, he had to go to bed, it's late there and I was trying to get a lot of information. I was trying to give you guys a lot of information in between the runs and I was like trying to spit out. I was like, what was I supposed to say? Trying to spit it out to everyone. So uh, let's take a look at the runes. But basically it is a, as I mentioned, 
it is using Odin instead of uh, Bailiger. Uh, and a lot of it is just the extra damage from the first two Bailigers do a little bit of extra damage, whereas Odin doesn't do as much damage as Bailiger. Um, so these two are kind of doing a little bit extra. The two Odins are doing, uh, sorry, the two Bailigers are doing a little bit of extra damage, and the Odin is doing less damage than a third Bailiger would do, but it does wind up equaling out. So let's take a look at the runes uh, quickly to see, or slowly or whatever, uh, to see what exactly is on them. So he's got 82% uh, crit rate, 235 crit damage, uh, plus 1749 attack. On this Odin, he's just on attack, crit damage, attack. Right, everything's fairly standard, like the same way as you would wound a, uh, a Bailiger. Uh, attack here for the primer, for the flat 100 uh, attack. Uh, additional damage is not really too big of a thing for Odin. Um, it, seems, it seems like it would, the crit damage is really more of a thing for Odin, right? Uh, f for Odin and Bailiger, the extra crit damage is really, really big. Um, so, skill 1 accuracy doesn't matter in this case. Skill 1 crit damage, that's the skill he's using. He's using skill 1 crit damage, right? Uh, and it's completely maxed. Uh, which is important and I'm sure his towers. I don't know what his exact towers are, but I'm sure they're maxed or very close to it um, So those are the runes and those are the stats the 12% extra crit damage for their attack increasing effect I'm sure uh, does play a part as well uh, Just helps but mostly it's really about the two Bailigers doing a little bit of extra again a little bit of extra damage um, More so than anything else. So we have the 25% crit damage sub there is nice uh, attack or damage attack, fairly standard, 23% crit. He's farming a decent amount of necro, uh, yeah, necro it looks like. Of course, right? Um, and then we have, you know, fun fact, you guys don't care about fun facts. Let's just continue, let's continue looking at the runes. Okay, so we have skill 3 crit damage, uh, which is important. Mine has skill 3 crit damage as well. Uh, skill 2 crit damage, which is not really fair, right? Uh, gain knowledge passive, but skill 3 is uh, skilled up as uh, this lightning strike doesn't really matter for Bailiger doesn't matter if it's skilled up uh, It's basically you, you need the start of apocalypse skill up and the skill 3 crit damage So that's it for uh, Gingri's runes. Well, I can also show you guys the player that he's raiding with uh, On a regular basis. Uh, I'll show you their runes as well. So this is the person they're raiding with too cute for you Let's take a look at uh, they're running a fatal Bailiger actually so they got better stats on a fatal Bailiger. You don't really see fatal Bailiger too often um, But they had better stats still 211 crit damage on fatal. Uh, it's not bad, right? It's not bad. So uh, they had better stats on fatal than they did on rage so They just went with uh, fatal which again, you don't see too often You got to get a lot of crit damage to make up for the fact that it's on fatal. Let's take a look at the runes um, There's 19 crit damage sub on that uh, it's just attack or damage attack as always. Um, and then 29% uh, attack sub, 27% crit damage sub, um, 11, 11, and 19. Uh, then uh, 18 crit damage there. Uh, and 37 attack, 6 crit damage there. And then of course the flat attack here. And then skill 3 crit damage plus 15. So really the big thing is, uh, we'll take a look at my Bailiger too. But ba basically the big thing is uh, extra crit damage with skill 3 also does, also does play a big part in it too. And here's for comparison purposes, my Bailiger on, again, the Europe server account is just a little bit shy of the damage that we needed to be consistent. It was working, as you can see, it was working, but to be consistent, we need a little bit more damage because it has to make up for the fact that the Odin does less damage. So here are the, uh, we got the skill 3 all skilled up. That would be funny if the skill 3 wasn't skilled up. Actually, you know what? Fire Tower. I think my fire tower is not very highly upgraded on here, so uh, that that could be one of the that's between that and like we have a 12 crit damage sub here. We have it's a little bit less damage output uh, from this Bailiger again on the uh, Europe server account because we haven't rated uh, we haven't not rated we haven't done necro as much uh, on this account, so um, we're missing out on some some better rage runes, some more efficient rage runes that have a little bit more damage output. Uh, for it to be more consistent, but we do all, we do also have a skill three crit damage fifteen percent there. So the thing that another thing that you that you see pretty consistent is skill three crit damage on there. So uh, you need artifacts, yes. You need good runes, yes. Absolutely. Uh, don't don't if you can if you can barely do BJR five as it is, I would skip on this one and try to still improve, do more necro, do more raids, try to improve your Bailiger. Um because you do need a little bit more efficient than the. Uh, than the bare minimum for BJR5, because you do, again, you do need to make up for the fact that uh, Odin is not Bailiger, uh, right? So anyway, uh, I just wanted to show you guys the team. Again, thank you to Gingri for uh, letting us see the team. 
Very cool, very nice. It's basically, again, I'm just gonna sound like a parrot now. Uh, it's basically the, it's basically BJR5, but using whatever the budget versions of all of those units are as a third team, using the Odin instead of Baliger, using the Colleen uh, and the, um, the Colleen and the Shayna instead of the Fran and the Lauren, and then using no Jansen um, and the Fire Giant War instead of the Water War Bear and the Immensity instead of I forget what the other units are. You know what I mean. Anyway, uh, I just wanted to show you guys the team. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Maybe you guys got something out of it. I think very few people will actually put this to use. Uh, we'll have the tools to put this to use, but some people might actually get something out of it. So anyway, that's it for this one. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, all credit to Gingri again, uh, and I'll see you guys always in the next one.